I'm joined now by Adria English's attorney, Ariel Mitchell Kidd. Um, Ariel, thanks so much for being here. First, I got to get your reaction to something I think that the average folk and legal scholars are all just kind of like gobsmacked about. He was denied bail. Um, I wasn't gobsmacked about it. I actually predicted he would not get bail, given the circumstances, given his status in the not only just the United States, but in the world. Um, he's somebody who, if he wanted to abscond from justice, uh, regardless of whatever bond he may have put up, he's an alleged billionaire. What's $50 million? So I knew and I had no doubt that the courts would deny him bail. Even with everything that his lawyers presented, right? We've got his passport. We've got uh, the kids, his mom's passport. We've put up his house, his mom's house. Uh, we, we've been talking to you for six months, telling you every single step where he's been, domestic travel, even though we didn't have to. None of that seemed to be enough to, you know, assuage them of the concern that he might just amscray? Absolutely not. Uh, the judge did a great job in this case in denying Bill, even though he's tried to put on a farce, in my opinion, of being in the public, like walking around a beach in Miami, walking around Manhattan, going whitewater rafting in the summertime. To me, it's just a man who was counting down the days of his freedom and trying to do whatever he could with the last minutes of freedom that he did have. I was saying back in July when we filed our case that we knew it was a matter of when, not if, he was going to be arrested. And here we are today. And he's been arrested and denied bail. And I finally feel that we're one close, one step closer to justice being served. That was a, a big okay. step in having bail denied. So, Ariel, I want to ask you about um, your client, Adria, and, and how much the feds talked to her beforehand, because I know in the lawsuit she names Tamiko Thomas, says she was like a Gillian Maxwell. I'm curious, A, what did they get out of her and what indicators did you get from the questions that you heard uh, them ask if, if they did? And, and B, do you think that Tamiko Thomas and others are going to be charged as well? Well, in, in our scenario, the feds already had their case and had a substantial over 100 witnesses at the time that we filed our case. So the conversation was pretty brief in terms of um, what they needed, which they really didn't need much. It was just essentially... We know you exist. Uh, well, if we need you, we'll call. So they didn't really speak to her or dove into anything. And looking at the indictment, it seems like it was mainly focused on one victim, Cassie Ventura. So what I imagine is as the days go on and as the feds continue to investigate their case, they will continue to actually maybe reach out to additional victims, people there. I, I believe there are 13 lawsuits that have been filed. And I think that in the coming days, like you alluded to before, that there will be additional charges. The feds will undoubtedly look further than what they have already in the four corners of their indictment now. And I'm sure that people like my client and others, including Mrs. Richards and uh, Mr. Uh, Rodney, who uh, in the Little Rod lawsuit, will also come forward to the feds or the feds will reach out to us to see what additional charges they can end up bringing. Um, you know, I, they suggested there could be more charges against Diddy. They suggested there could be more people charged, and certainly that indictment uh, points, points that way. Um, Ariel Mitchell Kidd, really good of you to talk to us tonight. Appreciate it, and I will be calling again. Thanks for this. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.